Hi, this is Otter, and this is how to submit your payroll. A bunch of different ways you can do it. Typically, though, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to narrow it down to the weekend you want to send or print. So I'm just going to right-click on one of them and hit Find Matching Records, and that gets me all my 225. I could have just as easily hit, uh, hit Find, select the weekend that I want, and grab it and hit Get. Number So easy way to find things you see something quick just right click it and hit find matching records bam so there's my payroll for the week and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna typically print out a time card so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna hit print and the first thing I need to do when I say print is print the records being browsed because I want to print all hundred or actually all 26 time cards that are currently found Again, if I only want just this one, I would select that. But typically when you're submitting payroll, it's always records being browsed. Now, I'd hit print, and this would print out the stack, and I can connect it and do a normal piece of paper. That's one way. Another way they submit payroll is by PDF. You hit print. Same thing. Select current records, browsed, but, uh, records being browsed. And then I can also say, oh, use my PDF writer. I have, I have Primo. You can use any one of them. And then you hit select that and it's going to go right through and generate a PDF file, one little file that you can attach to an email and email right to your coordinator. So that's another way to do it. Um, I can hit create PDF if you want to see it for the fun of it. And there you go. Hey, remind me later of that. And now I'm just going right through every single time card and you can see I have a beautiful PDF. So that's another way. The other way, a lot of people um, with media services payroll, they just email us the data. So instead of that, they just say scripts. They say export time cards. And it's just a little reminder, you got to save it as a runtime file right here. Or runtime. And I'll just put it on my desktop, and I'm going to say all my SAG payroll. All my SAG payroll. And I hit save. And that's it. <laughs> now I just simply attach all my SAG payroll uh right there i attach that file to a email and us at media services we have all the data and everything we need remember we do need those printouts the signed ones but we get those from the exhibit g anyway for sag so that's basically how you can submit your payroll pretty simple remember one little button in here which is just what you want to display whether you want full social last first four or five all up to you on how much you display when you're printing these things out and there's also nice little things in here uh, where you can prepare by, you can click your name and type prepared by and type my name, Otter Huntley, or by everybody. So a bunch of little stun, fun stuff you can do. And that's it. That's how you get your payroll to the payroll company. Thanks a lot.